Hey guys, okay, not my karaoke right now. It's coming later. I'm gonna keep you in suspense, but this is me coming at you from a place of love, a place of tough love. Um, this is for some of you, it's not for all of you, and um, take it for what it's worth, guys. I watched the live version of Rachel Hollis this morning. Every morning she goes live on Instagram and Facebook. If you follow her, you can see those things, and um, it was good. It was really good, and she was definitely some um, tough love, and um, it was she was fired up. So it got me thinking about you guys, and it got me thinking about this group and the challenge and all of that good stuff. Um, again, I remind you I'm coming at you from a place of love, but I want to ask you, have you been stuck in the place that you were in for so long that you don't think there's any other way to live? Have you been stuck at a low energy level, at a weight you're not happy with, um, at a life that you're not happy with for so long that you just think that you're stuck there? Guys, no, no. I mean, some of you in this group may see other people post and you're like, well, they had a glass of wine or they ate some freaking cake or they ate four pieces of an almond kringle and had a glass of wine like I did last night. But do you know what, guys? In the beginning, I put in the damn work. I put in the hard work. I showed up every single freaking day and I followed my plan to a T. I didn't deviate. And let me tell you something. If you think that my life is easy because I stay home and I don't work outside of the home, you are wrong. You are wrong. When I started, I had three children. I had a husband who is gone more than he spends a night in a Marriott more than he sleeps in my own bed, okay? He spends over 200 nights a year in a Marriott than he sleeps in his own bed with his wife and children. So don't tell me that it's easy. Not only that, but I was going through the deepest, darkest pit of my entire life. Here I was, I had a beautiful home, I had children, I have a husband who works hard so that I can stay home with my kids. I love my children, they are my life. I will put them first forever and ever and ever, but I am a person and I have needs and I have wants and goals and dreams and all those things, just like everybody else. But I began living a life of making everyone else happy that I was miserable. So I was in the deepest, darkest place of my entire life and I freaking did this, guys. I did it. Was it easy? No. Was it worth it? Heck yes. Do you know why? Because over three years later, I can show up here today to tell you that you can too. You have to make the decision. You have to decide for you and not anybody else of what you're going to do. You cannot let anybody else's opinions deviate, bleh, can't even get my word out, tell you what you're going to do. Guys, you cannot anymore. You cannot let what your spouse thinks, what your neighbor thinks, what your best friends thinks, what the girls are going to think when you're going out for girls' night. Guys, if you have goals and you have things that you want to accomplish, do it. Do the work. If you are new and you have committed to a plan, it doesn't mean that you get to cheat, guys. It just doesn't mean that. Find out what is working for you and find out what is not and be real with yourself. If those extra glasses of wine aren't serving you well, stop drinking them. Replace them. You can. Absolutely you can. Do you know why? Because I did. And I have no special talents. I have no special skills other than I was tired of living in that place. And if you're not tired of living in the place, then this group is not for you. It's not. I am here to support you. I am here to motivate you. I am here to encourage you. I am here to provide you with the tools that you have to use to get it done. So, I love you. It's coming from a place of tough love. And that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. My heart's beating really fast. I love you. You can do hard things. Okay.